With Memorial Day weekend and graduation season just around the corner, a lot of people will be celebrating, and experts and officials are encouraging everyone to celebrate safely. Dietrich Insurance and the Hawaii Restaurant Association have partnered to find Hawaii's best mocktail to encourage safe and responsible driving. Joining us now with more are Michelle Saito, President and CEO of Dietrich Insurance, and Sky Director of Mixology, Jen Ackrell, who will be making her mocktail competition entry for us this morning. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yes. Thank you. Fun event happening. Tell us more about it. Okay, so it's our second annual, so we are going to have a fun event tomorrow mm -hmm. at International Marketplace, 5.30 to 7.30. So we want to invite people to come on down. Uh, we are going to have 14 bartenders that are going to buy for the title of Hawaii's Best Mocktail. Hawaii's Best Mocktail. And Jen, why is Sky participating in this? You know, it's really important for us to give options to our guests for safety and just for fun too. Mm -hmm. um, we want to make sure that everybody that walks through the door at Sky has a cocktail, whether it's a mocktail or an actual cocktail, and it can be an elegant, elevated experience because a lot of the times mocktails can just be sort of like slushies in a, in a glass, which is right. fine, but sometimes you don't want to look like you're just drinking a kid's drink, and then to have an ele a elevated experience like this is a little bit nicer. I mean, even what you're making right now, it looks like it has alcohol in it, but it doesn't. It's a mocktail. Exactly. Tell us what you got. So we have a little bit of Lapsang Souchong tea, so it's a little smoky, so it's going to replicate that flavor of scotch. Mm -hmm. um, a black pepper and lemongrass simple syrup with a little bit of uh, Coca-Cola in this little bottle here, and then some lemon juice, and then we're just going to add some ice to that and stir it up and put it in the glass. So a lot of people think because there's no alcohol, it's not going to taste as good, or sometimes they just like that mm -hmm. taste. But you even said you there are ingredients and flavors out there that can mimic the taste of yeah. alcohol. Yeah, you can find uh, Lapsang Souchong tea that's going to be smoky. You can use juniper berries to replicate the flavor of scotch. So it's really just about the ingredients that you're putting into the, into the syrups or the teas that you're making. Okay. And then, Michelle, the statistics are still out there. I mean, this oh, is yeah. supposed to be a fun... Best of time for graduates and, you know, with the holidays coming up. But unfortunately, there are still these the fatalities and injuries happening. That's right. So in Hawaii, nearly 50%. So again, uh, with these events, we just want to remind people to be responsible and safe during these times. When they're out partying, they can still have fun and have great drinks. Yeah, right? absolutely. So do you mind if we set something on fire? Oh, we're going. oh yes. <laughs> please do. Please do. <laughs> just going to torch it. This is going to add to that little flavor of smoke that's going to go in there. Okay. Try not to heat the glasses up. And what do we call this again, Jen? This is called the Hatton Heist. Hat so the Hat and Heist was a really, it's a pretty famous um, British jewelry heist that happened about four years ago mm -hmm. in England. Uh, it was a bunch of older fellas, like about 70 years old, that went down an elevator shaft, drilled through a hole during an Easter Bank holiday weekend, and stole two, 214 million pounds worth of jewelry. So I thought that. When you get older, it's kind of hard to process alcohol. Mm -hmm. So the drink is a drink that the, the fellows that did the Hatton Heist maybe would celebrate with after. See, I love this because <laughs> mixologists, I mean, it's not yeah. just about making oh, drinks. Yeah. There's a story behind yeah. it. Yeah. It's not oh, just yeah. about tasting good or looking good, right? Yeah, but absolutely. Meaning. A little pomp and circumstance to go with it, right? Yeah. Right. And yeah. there's a lot of creativity. So when the people come down tomorrow, they can actually taste yeah. all the different mocktails and even vote on their most favorite. I think there's a people choice. I think that I should be the people's choice. Uh -huh. uh, there you go. <laughs> Michelle has stiff competition. There's a lot of really good mixologists <laughs> it, out it there. It is. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is the second annual competition, right? And it's happening tomorrow, International Marketplace at 5.30, and it's free and open to everyone. Mm -hmm. And again, as you said, there is a, a most popular favorite vote that people can kind of chime in on, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So shall we cheer? You should lady? try it. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Oh, could we please? Okay, and then again, real quickly, what is in this, uh -huh. Jen? So, Lapsang Souchong tea. Okay. There is a black pepper and a lemongrass simple syrup, a little Coca Cola, and some lemon juice. All right, cheers, Kampai, ladies. Best part. All right. Yeah, cheers. Oh, this does taste good. It's oh, nice, right? Yes. And that smell mm -hmm. is still in there. The smoking is lingers, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. It's really good. Again, a mocktail. Yeah. yeah Great like for this. any event. Anytime. And it looks like you're having a cocktail. Mm hmm. Very nice. All right. Thanks, ladies, for being here. Oh, thanks thank for you having very us. Much. Cheers.